uh, just driving to work right now. Uh, my sweet wife Nina's recording, and she and our little boy Ephraim are just gonna drop me off. They're gonna go back home. We're really blessed because we only live like two miles away from uh, where my shop is at my parents' house. So it's pretty easy to get back and forth whenever we need to. And I just thought I would start off the day by showing a little bit more of my studio and uh, and some of the things I'm working on right now. See you, Ephraim. Yeah. Bye. Bye. All right. Bye, honey. Bye. All right. So, we're here, Kenwick, Washington. Uh, it's November 3rd, and hey, how's it going, guys? And uh, I'm just going to go into the backyard. This is my folks' place. There's my sister-in-law and her kids. Hey, guys. <laughs> and I'm just going to go into the backyard. So we've been here since January 5th is about when we moved here from Idaho and everything's been pretty crazy uh, just getting everything in the for the studio set up uh, Nina and I made a lot of pre preparations uh, before we came before I quit my job we saved a bunch of money and so we could make this journey and okay so we're here in the backyard, we're at my studio and it looks really trashed right now. I've got to do a lot of cleaning up. My brother Cody was working on some stuff and it's, uh, and we haven't put this stuff back yet, but here it is. This is my shop. And I think when you're an artist, you kind of hoard stuff. And so I've got lots of stuff here. And this right here is a sculpture I'm working on, and it's going to be a giant metal man. It's sort of hard to tell because he's just the bones right now, but there he is from the back. There's his hips. And I've just been using whatever scrap I could find uh, to put on the different parts of the body. There's his chest and abdomen. And I still need to put arms and a head and all the other stuff on him, but that's him for now. There's the base. He's pretty heavy, uh, but he comes apart. And as you can see, he's going to be pretty tall. So I'm like 6'3", and he's almost about around 7 feet without a head. So that's it. There he is. Here's a bunch of the scrap metal I've been collecting or hoarding, however you choose to put it. And here's the inside of the shop. So as you can see, uh, it's pretty basic. Uh, it's a covered carport and there's no door. So I need to get a door so it won't be so cold this winter because it's November right now and it's starting to get cold. And I'll turn on the lights here and you can see what I've been working on. Here's my little welder that I use. I got it from Harbor Freight. This is actually like my fifth welder since I've been welding so much. I've kind of been wearing them out really quick. And here is what I've been working on. And I'll step back a little bit more so you can see it. It's uh, gonna be a relief sculpture. And it's like probably about three feet tall by two feet wide. No, probably about two and a half feet wide. Um, and it's made out of angle iron, rebar, and some metal banding that I've got. So, hope you can kind of tell what it looks like. There's a lot of stuff going on in the background that might make it a little difficult, but I'll be working on it more and I'll uh, show you guys more about how it's going. Maybe tomorrow. So that should be about it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Keep watching. Uh, I'll show you some more stuff and things will start coming together more and more. 
I'm going to be going over to uh, the gallery that I've got some of my stuff at and show you some of my finished sculptures. So that should be pretty neat. And I guess see you later. Bye for now. All right. Bye.